Some inspiring new tech from Microsoft. Welcome back to Textonation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Microsoft Inspire 2022 took place this week, the company's big partner conference. There were a number of new technologies focused on. Among them is Viva Engage. And here with us from Microsoft is product lead, Dan Holm. Hi, Dan. Hi, Fred. Thanks so much for having me here today. Well, great to meet you. Give us the overview to start with, I think, of what Viva Engage is going to be all about. Viva Engage is a way to help people connect and um, and uh, is a way to help people connect and build relationships at work. Where it comes from is the realities of the pandemic and remote and hybrid work, where relationships between people across working groups and across the organization became more difficult to establish and maintain. And our customers told us that in, in very clear language that building relationships is the number one challenge of remote work these days. So Viva Engage is here to help. Now, from what I understand, this is going to replace the Communities app in, in Teams. Tell us more about how it will be different. That's right. The Communities app in Teams today brings into Teams, which is our hub for teamwork, the experiences powered by Yammer. And Yammer is a, a social tool acquired by Microsoft 10 years ago this year. It has served tens of millions of customers every month and their efforts to build communities and, and, and foster engagement in the organization. Today, we're evolving that application, the Communities app, to Viva Engage and bringing into it not only those experiences powered by Yammer, but also new innovations that let people more easily share experiences and showcase their work giving people a, a, a voice and an opportunity to really contribute to the organization. So maybe you can step us through a little bit what the user experience is, is going to be like. Sure. So when most people spend their days uh, at work in teams, that's where they can collaborate with team, with, with people, meet and work together on their deliverables. In teams, there will be a new app, Viva Engage, that when you enter it will feel familiar because in the end, it's helping you tap into conversations across the organization in a way similar to what a consumer social tool like, say, LinkedIn might let you do. It lets you see what's happening around you with people you're connected to, discover new and interesting people and conversations. That's what LinkedIn does in the, in the public space. This now brings that same concept into the enterprise so you can lift your head up beyond your working group and see what's going on around you. There's a feed of content there's even a carousel of stories, short, photo, photo, short videos and photos that can be used to share messages and share experiences. So, for instance, uh, if, if we were working together, you know, and we see each other, you know, on, on Teams, using Viva Engage, you're going to be learning more about me as, as I post things, more or less, uh, like a social kind of network? Sure, it, it definitely brings that concept of social networking into the organization to create that social layer that we used to be able to maintain when we ran into each other in the hall, right? With remote and physical work, with remote and uh, hybrid work, we don't see each other in the hall as often. So through the technology, we're able to rebuild those experiences by letting me keep up with what you're experiencing, what your team is doing. You might be posting about a milestone that your team just achieved. You might be floating an idea to get feedback from outside of your team uh, to help drive innovation. Uh, or you might be sharing something that you just did at work or even in your personal life that helps us feel more connected as humans. Yeah, and that personal life aspect to it, I, I think is probably important when people have been working remotely and maybe they're working with people that they've never met face to face uh, for, for months and months, maybe even years now. So getting to know people personally can be a valuable thing, I, I think. It really can. It gives, you, it gives you that human connection. Instead of just making you a coworker, you become a colleague, a real, a, 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 you, you, there's a more personal relationship. And to your point, at, at Microsoft, for example, over 40% of our employees currently were hired during the pandemic. In other words, they have not met other people in person. It's and that's true across multiple industries and organizations. the The workforce today, in in, in a very large part, has not actually met each other, and this helps create that social fabric. Really interesting. So I understand Microsoft has been using this internally for a little yeah. bit. Tell us what you've learned. 
Oh, the, the, the things that people share have, have really run the gamut. Let's start with something you might expect. Some of our leaders use uh, the capabilities of Viva Engage called Storyline and Stories to post weekly updates, a short five minute video, for example, that shares what was the top of their mind, what issues they were considering, what they learned from customers, and maybe uh, for uh, advance some of our cultural initiatives. And that's something you might expect, but coming from the leader's own voice makes a real difference in how it lands and how it makes you feel as one of their employees. So from the top down, it's about humanizing leadership. When we start looking at from side to side in the organization, we see a whole wide range of, of expression. We certainly see people sharing uh, volunteer activities, things they're passionate about. We see people sharing achievements and praising their team. But we also see things happening that you probably would never see happening or happening as effectively in email. As I'll give you one example. When the war in Ukraine broke out, I had a friend who lived in Kiev and had to flee with his family with nothing but the suitcases in their hands. They came to the United States. They had to reestablish themselves. He's a developer. His kids are in school. And he reached out to me and said, hey, do you by any chance have any devices in your closet that we might be able to use while we get back up on our feet? Um, I had one or two, but I posted to my storyline and shared Skip's story and within hours, I had multiple people pledging devices to help him and his family and other people in the same situation. People at the top of Microsoft saw this happening and leaned in and offered to support him as a developer by helping him get a Visual Studio subscription. So the story went viral in a way and really leaned in to make a very positive difference in the world. That was one great story from my personal experience. Another great, uh, another great example is at Microsoft, we value diversity. And it's important that people can learn about each other, their diverse experiences and their diverse perspectives. We on our, on our team have an employee who suffers from ADHD. And he spent some time with our team sharing his experience with ADHD so we could better understand not only what ADHD really is, but how to take advantage of the unique capabilities of someone with ADHD. And his story also went viral in the organization, was seen by hundreds of probably at this point, thousands of people. And that fosters a greater understanding of our colleagues and, and their diverse situations. So to, to participate in this, uh, the Viva Engage, will people be doing these videos or having uh, recordings done on their PCs, on their phones, or how, how, how are they going to get this stuff in there? Great question. We make the, we make creating and sharing easy. You can you can post with a simple text post. You can attach photos and images and, and videos, and you can do that from either your desktop or your mobile device. And when it comes time to creating stories, unlike a consu consumer social media, we actually do fully support both mobile devices and the web. So if you're on a mobile device, it's super easy to capture a photo and video. If you're on your desktop, you can use your webcam or even record your screen which we've seen particularly useful in sharing technical tips and tricks, creating a short video to show how something can be done more effectively and sharing it across the organization. And the differences between this and, and, and if you want to highlight them again, and Yammer? So Yammer powers the experiences in Viva Engage. Viva Engage is the expression of Yammer inside Microsoft Teams. We still have the standalone apps for Yammer, yammer.com, the mobile app for iOS and Android. But when those experiences come into Teams, uh, one of the promises of Viva is that we're integrating these experiences into the flow of your work in Teams. So we're, we're the, the app in Teams is, is simply Microsoft Viva. Viva Engage. And when will this be available to your customers? Viva Engage will start shipping to customers in late August. Uh, the app will change. And no, no administrative action is needed. Uh, if you have the Communities app today, you'll have Viva Engage in late August. And then the new user experiences will ship over the very few following weeks. And in the interim, is there a place for people to go for more information other than watching yeah. us here? <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully they've enjoyed this, uh, this show. But yes, they can go to https colon slash slash aka.ms slash Viva Engage. Terrific. Dan Holm, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred. It was a pleasure.